Welcome to the VMware vSphere 6.0 product demonstration. In this video, we will demonstrate how to subscribe to a published content library. A subscribed library is a mirrored copy of a published library. Content libraries can store virtual machine templates, vApp templates, ISO images, and script files. In this demonstration, we are going to create a content library subscription for a published library located in a remote site. The following environment has two vCenter servers. One is located in Palo Alto, California, and the other is located in Austin, Texas. Here, we will demonstrate how to create a content library in Austin, Texas that subscribes to a published library located in Palo Alto, California. The content library is a top-level item to vCenter server. We begin the demo at the vCenter home screen and click on vCenter Inventory Lists. On the left navigation panel, click on Content Libraries. The first step is to capture the URL that is generated on the Subscribe Content Library. On the Content Library window, right-click on the Published Content Library, which is Palo Alto Library here, and select Edit Settings. On the Edit Library screen, click on the Copy Link button. This will copy the link to the clipboard. Click Cancel. Next, on the top left corner, click on the Create New Content Library icon. This will lead to the Content Library window. We type in the name for the Content Library. We'll call it Austin Content Library. Ensure that a proper vCenter server is selected. In this case, we will go with the default vCenter server for Austin, Texas, and then click Next. In this demo, we would like to subscribe to a content library. Paste the URL that you had copied earlier in the subscription URL box. Notice that there are two synchronization options for a subscribe library. The first option is to download all the items immediately, and the second option downloads the content only when an item is requested from the remote site. This saves on bandwidth and storage space, since only requested content will be synchronized. For this demonstration, we will choose to download all of the library content immediately and click Next. On the Add Storage screen, select a storage location to store the library contents. A content library storage location can be a local volume on the vCenter server, an NFS share, or a data store mounted to an ESXi host. In this scenario, we are going to choose a data store. Select VMFS and then click Next. Review everything on the Summary screen and then click Finish. On the Content Libraries page, we see that Austin Content Library is a subscribed library, and we confirm that the content has been copied. This concludes the demonstration of subscribing to a published content library. Thank you.